Are you one of the weird React Native developers who don't already use Expo? Now you've realized Expo is so much better, but I don't want to delete everything. I just want to install Expo into my current React Native app. This video is for you. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time and we'll go ahead and get started. I'll put these links in the description below, um, but we'll go ahead and do this together to uh, learn how to install uh, Expo into your React Native app. It's very simple. So let's go ahead and copy this. We're just going to need to install this install Expo modules latest. Um, this is my React Native. This is just a traditional React Native app. So I'll go ahead and paste this in there. I'll say yes, yes. So you want to just say yes to everything. If you see things like uh, this uh, peer dependencies issues, just don't worry about them for now. We'll fix these later. All right. So it said installation was complete. So you can actually skip over this manual installation part. You don't need to worry about it uh, if this automatic installation worked. If you're having troubles and it's not working, you could go ahead and go through the manual installation. Uh, this will walk you through how to do that. But um, my uh, automatic installation worked, so I'm going to just skip over this manual installation. Um, and come down here. So from that point on, you're actually done installing uh, Expo. From then on, if you want to install anything related to Expo, you can just say Expo install, and it'll make sure to install the correct version. Um, so we'll go ahead and from here, uh, you don't have to worry about these exclusions. Uh, you can just go on from here. Again, I'm going to put these links in the description below. The next thing that it's a good idea to do just to make sure everything's set up correctly, um, there's something called register root component. This is uh, basically, it's a way to make sure that um, Expo knows to open the app.js file as your, your main file. So first things first, it says Expo install Expo. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, come here, paste that there, just to make sure Expo is installed. OK, and I'm going to open up my package.json just to make sure it's there. OK, it says it is there. So uh, step number two is in your app.js file or whichever file you want to be the one that's your home page that it first opens up to. Copy this import register root component. Um, for me, I want the app.js file to be the file that opens up first. So just add that to the very top right there. Um, and then come down. Uh, it'll show you an example here. Um, this register root component. Come here. Uh, copy that and just go to the bottom of the page here and just paste it like that. So this will make sure that whenever you open up an app using Expo, it knows that uh, your app.js file is your, your main file, the one to open up to. Um, if it's a different one, put it in whatever one is your main uh, file. So after you've done that, from here we can test out to see if our Expo uh, app is working properly. The way you can do that is using something called Expo Go. Uh, if you come back to the documentation down here uh, in step six, there's um, this app. It's called Expo Go. You can install it directly onto your phone um, or it can open up in like an Android emulator or an iOS simulator automatically. Um, and so if you're using React Native CLI, traditional React Native, you're probably used to saying something like a React Native run Android or something like that. Well, now that you're using Expo, uh, there's just a couple extra steps. And instead of using like React Native um, run Android or run iOS, you'll just say Expo start, and then you'll run the app that way. Um, and so, 
we'll just go ahead and do this together so that it makes sense. So here's my app. I want to just make sure everything's working right with Expo. So um, the way to test out your apps and um, see everything on an emulator or a simulator, you would say uh, Expo start. And Expo now can take over uh, running your app. So it, it'll open it up in something like this. Uh, and then over here, uh, I currently have an Android emulator open, but if you have an iOS simulator open, you can say run iOS simulator. Uh, I'm gonna click run Android device emulator. And it should open up my app um, properly. All right, and so there you go. So that's how you uh, make changes now that you have Expo in your app. You're gonna wanna do it this way. Um, and then whenever you're ready to create your file, uh, Expo can actually do that for you too. Um, and I'll just real fast show you how to do that. Uh, I'll make another video on this at some point. I think I already have actually. It's called EAS Build Walkthrough. Here's a video that'll walk you through EAS Build for Android. But basically, uh, whenever you're ready to send your app to the App Store, you would just say EAS build, um, and then you pick your platform, Android or iOS, and it walks you through everything. I won't go through that in this video because it's not necessary, but um, I just wanted to give you a brief overview. If you uh, started out using React Native, uh, you're not used to Expo, th that's the basics of, of how Expo works. Everything else is the same, um, but just to see your app, you'll want to use Expo start, um, and then whenever you make a change, it'll uh, automatically, you can just refresh your app by clicking the R button. All right, so that's all you have to do to go ahead and move on. Uh, you officially have uh, the, you officially have Expo installed in your React Native app. So from that point on, if you wanna install anything related to Expo, you can just say Expo install and it'll make sure to install the correct version. If you're interested in push notifications, I work at a company called nativenotify.com. It's a place where you can set up push notifications in your React Native or Expo app in under three minutes. It's super fast, it works great. Go ahead and check out the website if you're interested. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.